Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for tonight's main event. 15 rounds of heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Lewis is approaching the ring now. And this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. Norton's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. If you are the fighter with the lower stamina, and you know it, going up against a guy who can really go the distance, how do you go after it right from the gate? Well, I don't know that you go after it right from the gate because then you're basically telling your opponent, I have no chance. I'm desperate. I think you go out there looking like you're ready to go the distance. Maybe he'll start to slow things down a little bit and worry about the late rounds himself. A stabbing right Boom. hand by Norton. He snaps a jab. <laughs> Norton's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Lewis is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Norton's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Targeting a left hand to the body. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry keep about trying to body. keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, you could feel that one to the gut by Lewis. is cranked by an uppercut. Big right hand. What's the hook? Norton's left now getting into the mix. Not an accurate hook at all. Solid left hand to the head. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. 
end of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that, and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just the big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. You are losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You gotta take some chances with this guy, all right? You got to. You have to take a risk. You have to double jab, all right? He's timing. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Scored well up top. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Norton's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Right to the belt line. Norton's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Halfway through this round here. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. <laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. <laughs> Lewis is hurt by a big shot. <laughs> He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instinct. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Not able to land the uppercut. So the round comes to its conclusion. And it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tacked pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Good block by Norton. That's it, that's it. You got this one. 
Nice work by Lewis. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Stepped to the side, got that opportunity. Lewis has got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Lewis. Jump on him. Nice. Come and on, straight kid. right, focus unable now. to connect. I need you to focus for Lewis is able to land a good, solid left hand. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on now. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. <laughs> Lewis is lacking any control right now. I still think he's not fully recouped from being hurt earlier, yet he's on an offensive assault. Yeah, this is not confidence, but this is desperation. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Nice work, nice work. Relax, come on. Relax. Lewis is able to land a nice clean left hand. Norton's fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight now. He is having trouble landing any of these punches. Yeah, and it's not because his opponent all of a sudden is a great defensive whiz. You know, he's not Claude Waynes. He didn't all of a sudden become the invisible man. It's just that he's not landing because he's thrown him from too far away, as you said, very tired. Right to the head with that right. Last 10 seconds of round number three. It's all right. Keep and that's the end of round nice three. Work. Nice work. Don't get too close. Don't get too close, all right? I need you to move more. Kid, you know you need to throw more punches out there. You got him? He's out working you. You're stronger than him. Let's let him feel those punches. Now, come on, get serious. All right, keep your guard up, all right? Lewis is out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight, but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. And he ties up on the inside. Lewis is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Brings it downstairs with a hook. How about that hook by Lewis? What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Beat him to the punch. That's as good as it gets right there. A crushing uppercut by Lewis. That is a strong uppercut there. 
Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Lewis's right hand scores well that time. He just missed it. Wow! And crashing to the canvas after that uppercut. Gonna keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Nice block by Lewis. Keep moving, keep moving. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Lewis's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. End of the round. A round in which a knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, if you're the trainer in the corner of the guy scoring the knockdown, what are some of the things you want to remind him of? You want to remind him how he got there because a lot of times it's the tendency to just remember the punch that put him there. He dressed him up. He set that punch up. Don't think about just the punch that landed. Think about the setup punches. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's, Nice work out there. That's Just the keep fighting smart. Keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. You hear me? All night long. Norton's coming off of a round where he was just dropped. Now he's got to go back out there. What's the mentality, Teddy? Well, right now what he's got to do is buy some time. You got to be one of those time buyers. You know, you go out there and you say, you know, I want to be able to get, you know, a little bit of space here. You want to grab. You want to move. Anything, you can't worry about winning this round. That's gone all right. Survive the round, get your head clear. You're going to win the other round. Missed the body shot. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, man. Blocks the headshot. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Halfway into round number five here. <laughs> Lewis is crushed by a right hand. Clinch, clinch. Jump on him, jump on him right now. Keep working the body. Good block by Lewis. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Go, go. This 
round is in the books. And it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Okay, don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Teddy, I got to be honest with you. Based on what we saw in that last round, I didn't think we'd be broadcasting this round. I thought the fight would be over. It may be soon if his opponent can jump on him. But this could be his only chance. I don't think he can last much longer. Maybe this is the moment where you expect your opponent to come after you fast. Maybe you grit yourself, you plant your feet, you draw a line in the sand, so to speak, and you nail him coming in. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Keep doing what you're doing. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Oh. <laughs> Halfway through round six. got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like the fact he's willing to throw, but he needs to land. Yeah, he needs to calm down and think more. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. That uppercut absolutely rocked. Solid. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Victim, he couldn't beat the count. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Lewis is your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's going to be easy to sell now to television. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.